Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome everyone back to another Call of Duty video. Hopefully you're all enjoying your day. And in today's video, what we're going to be looking at is some Black Ops 4 news. So it's not going to be that long before we get the next Call of Duty, which is going to be Black Ops 4, which is kind of surprising. But what has happened recently is that there's a lot of news and kind of not really leaks around the campaign, around multiplayer, and whether or not we're going to be having a campaign in Black Ops 4. So starting off, with the newest news so far in Black Ops 4, we got this tweet from Treyarch. As you can see, basically it's a picture full of some perks that we have no idea uh, what it is. And as you can see, basically they're just tweeting something out, hinting towards the new perk system in Black Ops 4. And I'll get to a bit more detail into that, but basically starting from the left to the right, the first perk in my opinion looks like Dexterity. And if you remember Dexterity, basically it's a perk that lets you aim faster after sprinting, after mantling objects that's going up ladders going down ladders and because that perk is in there it's kind of telling me that they want this game to be fast paced so hopefully it's not in there for the sake of it being like too many large maps because we know for a fact just like cod ghost large maps do not work so hopefully it will be action packed judging by these perks so far it looks like it the second perk as you can see if the guy reloading to me it looks like it's going to be some type of sleight of hand perk and if you remember the sleight of hand perk it basically allows you to reload faster which is always great and out of all perks, I really do like sleight of hands when it is available in a perk slot. The next perk slot we're going to be looking at is this one here. Now, it kind of, to me, it looks like scavenger, where you basically get more ammo off dead body. A lot of people on Reddit think it's dead silence, but the reason why I don't think it's dead silence is dead silence is usually referenced by like a panther or an ear where there's an ear with like a big red X in the middle of it or a stealthy kind of shadowy looking character. And um, as you can see by this, it, it's more of a hyena. And uh, to me, it looks like scavenger will definitely be the perk judging by kind of the look and of course, judging by the animal. The last perk we're gonna be looking at is this one here. In my opinion, this one is lightweight, which pretty much just looks standard from Black Ops 2 and whatnot. And uh, lightweight just allows you to move faster across the map which is always a great thing. So if you are a person, you know, who likes using some machine guns, wants to get from top of the map down to the bottom really quickly, that's the perk for you. And as you can see at the top of the picture, uh, it's using two wild cards. So this makes me assume that two perks are from tier one and the other two perks are from a second tier. So it's kind of following like the normal Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2 structure, which is gonna be kind of interesting. And um, what's also a bit weird is that there was a leak some time ago uh, stating that there weren't going to be any perks in Black Ops 4, that apparently you had to earn perks only through kill streaks. And uh, judging that Treyarch released the pictures of um, perks here, it kind of assumes that we will be getting perks in the game, but we don't know because we don't fully have the game out just yet. So that's pretty much going to be some of the perks and stuff looking into Black Ops 4. Looks like it's going to be fast paced and action packed just like Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. So moving over, let's talk about the campaign news. So now there's been a rumor for some time that uh, there isn't going to be a campaign for Black Ops 4, and apparently there's just gonna be a multiplayer only mode. So you put the disc in, you can only play multiplayer, and apparently to compensate for this, they're going to include a Battle Royale mode, just like they have in PUBG, just like what they have in Fortnite, and um, just judging by that, it could be the case because I did a video some time ago where I played Call of Duty Online, the Chinese version of Call of Duty, and they already have the Battle Royale game mode on there. And to be honest, it really isn't like too intense. It's a little bit boring if I'm being honest, but it's still there. And that game mode at the moment is very popular. So I can kind of see why Activision and uh, Treyarch want to get straight onto it. So now this rumor, of um, campaign only being for Black Ops 4 kind of just started around because people were speculating that they teased the multiplayer before the campaign trailer or anything like that because usually when they tease a Call of Duty game, usually the campaign first. And as you can see by this Charlie Intel tweet, that's what they're saying. Now, Charlie Intel are also saying that apparently Treyarch are actually putting campaign back into Black Ops 4 because they were getting a lot of negative feedback about it. and I can understand why because I saw in another article and on reddit people have been saying that some people actually just buy Call of Duty just for the campaign itself I can kind of understand with older Call of Duties but from what I can make out of usually the Modern Warfare series or the Black Ops series are one of the most played campaign of like pretty much all Call of Duties in my opinion because they're just really 
really good. Although I didn't really play the Black Ops 3 campaign, so I'm not really sure if it went down in quality or if it kind of just ended. But knowing uh, Treyarch, they probably will do a campaign mode. However, there is also an article on Eurogamer, as you can see, and um, it's Polygon, the company, that stated that uh, it became evident that development on the single player campaign wouldn't be completed. So they're stating that uh, a campaign wouldn't be completed for single player purposes. And um, they said to make up for that, they're going to be releasing a Battle Royale game mode uh, to make up for the campaign. I'm not really sure if that makes up for the campaign because although uh, there is usually a campaign with every Call of Duty, people have been saying that um, they don't really want to waste their money building a campaign when people only play um, with it for not that long. Whereas if it's only multiplayer, then they can obviously start milking some money out of it with supply drops. So that is also some kind of interesting theories. Moving over, the next last bit of news we're going to be looking at is the Black Ops 4 Community Reveal event. So people who are going to the Black Ops 4 Community Real, uh, Reveal event, like some YouTubers and stuff, and Charlie Intel, this is the pass they got. This one is in German for some reason. And uh, basically what the pass says is it says, Activision Treyarch invite you to the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Community Reveal event, May 17, 2018. And there's an introduction from 9.15 a.m. And the keynote begins at 10 a.m. And apparently it's at the Jet Center, Los Angeles, Hawthorne, California. Per person only, one participation. The invitation is not transferable. So it looks like the community re reveal event will be coming May 17th. Some people already knew that. But it seems like May 17th is going to be the time where we're going to know some more leaks. Possibly get some gameplay, which would be absolutely insane to see what this game looks like. And from there on, we can have a look and see what people say about the game and see if it actually does have campaign. So more or less, that is going to be the video today looking at the most recent Black Ops 4 news. We had a look at the new perk system that may be coming. There may be a feature of campaign not coming, but more than likely, there possibly will be a Battle Royale mode because as I said before, it is very popular, especially with games like Fortnite and PUBG. And uh, basically, there is a Black Ops 4 community reveal event May 17th, so hopefully we'll get some new information from then on. If I get some more news of Black Ops 4 leaks and more multiplayer info, I'll be sure to provide it on the channel, so be sure to come back and check this channel regularly. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Drop it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think Call of Duty Black Ops 4 should have a campaign. In my opinion, I believe they should because there's a lot of people who do buy it for the campaign and uh, they would definitely feel left out if campaign was removed. So apart from that, hopefully you guys did enjoy and I will catch you all later. Globe out.